Hello, 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 everyone. Um, so today, I figured we'd just do a little chat with me, like a little vlog session. Um, so I thought we'd talk about self-care. Now, I have autism, and it can be very hard sometimes for me to regulate my emotions. Um, same with having a brain injury. But one thing that I find that is really helpful for me is when I channel my emotions into something creative, um, I find that to be a huge help. So, for instance, I sometimes like art therapy. I like drawing or coloring or um, painting my emotions. I like music therapy, uh, playing an instrument and really getting out those feelings. Sometimes I put my creative energy into a YouTube video that I'm making. I'll make a sim um, and whatnot and, and channel my emotions that way. Uh, but recently my family has been, um, my mom's been battling cancer and it's been really hard for my family. And I guess it's been hard on me too, like having to watch her go through cancer and seeing her cancer battle. Cause me and my mom are really, we're really close. And so I wrote this poem to kind of get out the feelings that I've been having as a part of my self-care, and I wanted to show and share that with you. So the poem, I just simply titled it Cancer because I couldn't think of a good title. If you have a better title, let me know in the description, but here we go. In a world full of light, I can feel the darkness alone in my woes. In a world filled with laughter, I can feel the tears settling on my face. I hide them from my foes. In a world full of peace, I am tormented. I long to feel the ocean and sand between my toes. In a world so large and big, I feel small. I feel unnoticed. In a world filled with noise, I feel silence. Nothing spoken and nothing gained. I feel scared, my breath stolen, my heart aching. Tomorrow is so uncertain. I walk alone. I am stepping into the unknown. There is an aching that fills me, fills every bone. You are tired, I can tell. You are sick and unwell. I long to hear the ringing of the bell. Will you ever be cancer-free? Will things ever be the same? I want to see you filled with energy, a healthy smile on your face. I am worried. I pace and pace. I watch as you go through this journey with grace. Meanwhile, I am a wreck. Emotions so beautifully hidden. I wear a mask to protect you from all that is broken. Everything races through my head. Unspoken. The love we share. The caring. I will always look at you with such devotion. I watched as your hair was no more. All fallen to the floor. I want it back, silky smooth tints of strawberry blonde. Does that make me vain? What does that say about me, worried for your hair, when your life is at stake? I saw how many appointments you rushed to through the door. Cancer is now something that I deplore. Some may pray for ri riches and wealth, but I pray for your health. Um, so it's been very difficult with my mom battling cancer. I've definitely been using my healthy coping skills, um, and really trying to apply those, doing a lot of self-care. Sometimes the best thing that I can do for me right now is literally just to stay busy so I don't have time to, like, have, give, to feed those intrusive thoughts, you know, because if you have two wolves and one is, say, the intrusive, dark, difficult thoughts and the sad ones and the other is happiness and peace, whichever wolf you feed the most grows the biggest. So I've been trying to feed my inner peace um, and uh, whatnot. I, uh, I've been going to the beach. I've been spending time with friends, um, spending time with my boyfriend. Um, spending time with family and slowly day by day I've been getting through this. If there is something you are struggling with, let me know in the comment. Let me know what is your most helpful coping skill 
in the comments. I would love to see that. And like, tell me why it's your favorite coping skill. Like, I love journaling. I love art therapy. Sometimes I just put on the music and I sing to it really loudly. Um, and I'm just letting out every feeling. Um, but that's just, just how I am. Um, sometimes I use fidget toys. Those are so helpful. I'll squeeze them. Fidget toys. Surprised I don't break them because I squeeze them so hard. Um, and then there's sometimes you just have to let it all out and cry. Like, I'll cry in the shower. And then I'll be good. My face is all washed. You can't see the tears. And I'll get out and I'll remind myself, it's a new day. It's a new start. It's going to be okay. You know, definitely positive affirmations. I, I firmly believe, like, sometimes you have to fall apart to fall back together. Um... One thing about me is I am very resilient, um, and I try to keep reminding myself of those positive um, qualities and things um, and whatnot. Really been treating myself when I need it. If that's what I need for a pick-me-up for the day, and that's what's going to get me through to the next day, that is what I'll do. Um, so if, if buying a doll on clearance makes me happy that day, and helps me forget about things for a while that's what I'll do um because I've learned that it's about just getting through to tomorrow because tomorrow's a new day um and eventually my mom will hopefully beat cancer um she has three more rounds of chemo and then she has radiation and I am so ready for the chemo to be over like the next day she is so tired after world afterward and it is so hard to watch um and to know that she is that tired I just miss my mom's company I miss doing everything with her um let me know if you're close to your mom uh, I got lucky I got a really good mom but I know not everyone has the same experience I have um and on that note I will see you all tomorrow bye everyone